I'm Dhamya students. Today we'll see characteristics of JFT. Characteristics of JFT. Now, JFT will be exhibiting two types of characteristics. One will be called as drain characteristics. Drain characteristics. Now, it is a graph between output voltage and output current. It is a graph between output voltage between drain and source and output current, drain current ID for constant input voltage. For constant input voltage. So it is like your output characteristics, which is called as drain characteristics. So you have to vary the output voltage and note down the output current for various steps for constant input voltage okay so these are the drain characteristics second you will study what are transfer characteristics transfer characteristics characteristics now this will be a, a, a relationship between input voltage between gate and source and output current drain current it is a graph of input voltage versus output current which is called as transfer characteristics for constant output voltage for constant output voltage so this will be your transfer characteristics so here you can see that if how if you vary the input voltage output current is going to vary so it is transfer characteristics so these are the two types of characteristics which you will see one by one what is drain characteristics and what is transfer characteristics Dear students, today we will see drain characteristics of JFD. Okay, so here we have shown a symbol of N channel JFD. So this is N channel JFD, the arrow is shown inside. This is gate, this is drain, and this is source. This is your JFD. Okay, now the JFD is connected in a circuit where you have input voltage. Input voltage VGG is given to the gate and so it's given across gate and source that you can measure by a voltmeter where you are measuring VGS that is voltage between gate and source. Similarly, you can connect an output voltage through a resistor RL which is called as VDD and that output voltage is applied across drain and source and that can be measured by a voltmeter across drain and source as VDS and then the current flowing in the output circuit you attach a milliampeter uh, and that can be noted as drain current IED okay now here we have applied the voltage such that the current has to flow from source to drain so drain is N channel is connected to positive and this is connected to negative so this is going to repel this is going to attract so the flow of electrons in n channel will be from source to drain and that is going to flow like this so that will be measured by the id okay now and here the gate has been reverse biased because it is a p type semiconductor here gate it is connected to negative it is reverse biased so initially when you keep both these voltages zero zero the current will be zero Initially, when you keep both these voltages, zero is the current will be zero. Now, drain characteristics when we are plotting, drain characteristics are like output characteristics. They should be a, it should be a graph between output voltage and output current for a constant input voltage. Okay, that means output voltage is VDS. This is the output circuit. Output voltage is VDS. Output current is ID, and this is the input voltage. So it should be a graph of output voltage and output current. So this is the output voltage x-axis, VDS, whatever you are going to read here, we are going to mark here on this x-axis. And this is y-axis, ID, whatever you are going to read here, that is output current, ID. Okay. So it is a graph of output voltage and output current. It is a graph of VDS, voltage across drain and source, and drain current, ID. Okay. For various values of input voltage VGS. Okay. Now initially when VGS is zero, initially when VGS is zero, the output current which flows 
will be maximum because the depletion layer will be uh, will be less and the channel width will be more as we have seen in the construction and working so as the channel width is more because you have not applied any vgs zero there will be a lot of current flowing that current will be your maximum id current saturation current what can flow that is this the highest point you can take this when vgs is equal to zero this is the current what you are getting this is the current what you are getting but as you increase the vgs as you increase the vgs the depletion layer of both the pn junction will increase and the channel width will go on decrease so channel width will go on decrease and so that you can see this curve okay now basically this curve is plotted for different values of vds and different values of id by keeping a constant value here. see initially this is zero then you go on varying the output voltage note down this voltage and this current 0.5 0.10 0.15 a milliampere 4 milliampere 6 milliampere like that so in steps you just go on varying this and note down this voltage and this current you will get this curve you will get this curve when vgs is equal to zero then you make vgs as 1 volt and again repeat the same procedure go on varying the voltage note down vds and id you will get this when vgs is equal to minus 1 volt again you increase the vgs to minus 2 volt and repeat the procedure you will get this curve again you increase the vgs and you will get this curve so as you are increasing the vgs the value of output current is decreasing as you are increasing the reverse bias the width of the depletion layer will increase and the channel will decrease and the flow of electrons will decrease and the current will decrease okay here this is what is shown in this graph now initially when we see when we increase the output voltage for some extent the output current will also increase this part you can see here also you can see here also so it is behaving like a, a resistor so that region can be called as ohmic region ohmic region but afterwards as you increase the vds the output current is not increasing the output current will increase only if you increase the input voltage so here you can see the output current is 2 when the vgs is minus 4 as an as an example we have taken this output current is 4 milliampere when the vgs is minus 2 volt output current is 6 milliampere when the vgs is minus 1 volt output current is 8 milliampere when the vgs is 0 volt so the output current is depending on input voltage afterwards after this ohm equation and then it is not a, a depending on output voltage output voltage even if you vary it will remain constant until until you go to some breakdown region until you go to some breakdown region till there this is the useful area in which you can use your jpd so this is your drain characteristics which is called as a output characteristics for jpd it will be a graph of one drain source voltage and drain current output voltage and output current for constant input voltage so keep a constant input voltage go on varying this note down both repeat that steps draw on curve again you vary this go on varying this in steps and note down both then one more curve will get again you vary this for some value constant keep it constant go on varying this note down both again you get one curve so like that if you plot the curves you will get the drain characteristics of jpt now my students in drain characteristics one more point is there as you are increasing this reverse bias gate voltage the output current will go on decreasing because if you see the depletion layer this is say n channel n channel this is p this is p so as you increase this vgs okay as you increase this vgs this will go on increasing depletion layer and one stage will come when the flow of charged carriers will be very minimal or it may be zero also. so that voltage which will give you zero id current that is somewhere here that voltage which will give you zero id current 
will be your cutoff voltage will be your cutoff voltage that voltage across vgs the input voltage which will give you zero id current that will be your cutoff voltage this is one more point what you can speak in your drain characteristics so it is a characteristics drain our characteristics is a a characteristics of the graph drawn between output voltage and output current that is vds and id for every constant input voltage and in that we are showing that the output current does not depend after some time on output voltage but it will depend on the input voltage so it is input controlled device jpt okay now here students we will see with the same circuit what we have drawn for drain characteristics with the same circuit we will draw what are transfer characteristics now transfer characteristics is a relation between output current and input voltage output current is been noted here and input voltage is been noted here because this is the input circuit this is the output circuit okay for constant output voltage for constant output voltage that means what we have to do is keep this voltage at some point keep it constant go on varying the input voltage and note down the output current so it is a graph of input voltage input voltage and output current this graph is shown in the second quadrant because the voltage is minus it is a reverse bias voltage so we are going to uh, start from minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so in that case let this be zero so it is shown on the negative x axis and this is your output current so initially when vgs is zero when vgs is zero and if you have kept this output voltage at some value when vgs is zero when vgs is zero you can see the current which is flowing is maximum current which is flowing is maximum because if you see the diagram of your jfet this is p this is p this is n so initially when vgs is equal to zero the depletion layer is normal the channel width is more and many electrons will flow many electrons will flow from source to drain from source to drain many electrons will flow okay but as you increase this voltage as you increase this voltage the reverse bias will increase and as the reverse bias increases the depletion layer of both the pn junctions will increase and the flow of current will go on decreasing that is what you have shown here as you increase the reverse bias voltage from minus 1 to minus 2 the current is decreasing then minus 3 it is decreasing and at one stage the width will be such that there will be no flow of current that is you can come here and you can say this vgs is your cut off vgs where your output current id will be zero so transfer characteristics is a relationship between input voltage and output current for a constant output voltage clear now this is how you can show your transfer characteristics and this is the diagram for your transfer